you're doing this truck compliance? What if I told you that there are some of the decidable rules that you can actually analyze exhaustively and prove the absence of MISTRA violations? In the latest version of MISTRA, MISTRA 2025 at chapter 3.5, there is a definition of what a decidable rule is as opposed to an undecidable rule. So basically a decidable rule is where a static analyzer can immediately tell you whether you comply yes or no. While an undecidable rule is something a little bit more mushy. So for example, the absence or presence of a runtime error. So that's rule, I believe, number 1.3. Well, it is the contention of that document that you cannot decide that uh, for sure through a tool by saying yes or no. Furthermore, in the documentation, they go a little bit further and say like, well, you will have false positives and also false negatives while you're trying to prove that rule. If you're using a regular static analyzer, maybe it's the case. However, if you're using one that is powered by formal methods such as abstract interpretation, it is actually possible, quite doable, to detect exhaustively all runtime errors, meaning that you do not have any false positives left. Meaning that if the analyzer says that there's no runtime error on a specific line, you can take that to the bank. It's mathematically impossible for it to happen. Of course, these static analyzers tend to find errors that are present in the code and are being frankly ignored by traditional static analysis methods, meaning that not only you're getting a better diagnostic, so, you know, removing a bunch of potential false positives, but also you might actually get a few more bugs detected and that helps you ensure that the code is safe and secure to use.